Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do what I like to call a paycheck to paycheck budget. So we went to meet with our realtor yesterday and things escalated quite quickly. I shared all of the escalations on my Instagram, which is Shea Budgets. But basically, um, it's pretty much crunch time as far as getting started with building our house in the home buying process. So um, I was gonna do this anyway, whether or not it had to do with the house or not but my husband and I have kind of talked about what we would like to do moving forward and we have created a, a plan and anyway to make a long story short we want to just kind of check in with our budget because we've been doing so well this month and just see what kind of funds we're working with and when we can have the rest of our house savings and top off that savings account and that would include the down payment and um the closing costs and all of that that we have a, an estimate from the loan officer so that's pretty much what it comes down to i don't want to talk you guys to death i just want to kind of move through this we can talk about the house stuff after we go and sign all of the paperwork perhaps which is going to be <laughs> very soon so let's go ahead and get into this paycheck to paycheck budget and let me zoom in just a little Okay, so I find doing a monthly budget of the utmost importance as well as check-ins. So some people do weekly check-ins. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that that is splendid. It's just, I never really do them and I don't really know why. I feel like I used to whenever I was like really hyper-focused on paying off debt basically, but now that I'm a little bit more chill, I feel like I just kind of do it on a bi-weekly type of basis. So I am here to do our second paycheck to paycheck budget for the month. That was the first one. So um, let's go ahead and talk about income because that is pretty much what we need to talk about first. And I do have a little, I did take some notes. So I have a little sticky note with some of the important bills and such that we have coming up and what have you. So the first little thing that we need to notate is um, I'm just gonna put paycheck budget here and I am using an R2 rollerball ink pen in 0.7 millimeters that I got from Dollar Tree paycheck budget and I thought by doing this earlier I would be beating all the noise downstairs but that's not quite the case but so I apologize if you hear loud noises so we're gonna start with income and I'm just gonna add all of it up instead of breaking it down um, because I have it broken down over here. So just for purposes of this video, I'm just gonna add it all up. So um, what we do is we take all of the disposable income that we have, all of the money that we have coming in and all of the money that um, basically all of the money that we have to spend. We don't consider savings or anything like that. And so actually, I'm gonna flip back here and just kind of show you guys where we're at. We're here, so we just received an Etsy and YouTube payday. And these two bills have not come out yet because they were scheduled for Sunday, so they'll probably come out later today or Tuesday. We do still have a cell phone bill to pay, a credit card bill to pay, and life insurance bill to pay, and that would be all of our bills for the month. I received my last couple of paychecks for my full-time job, and then so far, like, we will have another Etsy payday, which I don't know. I have no earthly clue how much that will be. As of right now, it's going to be $20. So we'll just have to wait and see what that will be. So I'm not going to include that because I don't know how much that will be. And then, of course, my husband's, um, the income from his full-time job, we save all of that. And particularly, we were saving for the house and for um, taxes and things like that. And we were using, well, up until like yesterday we were using my income to live off of and to pay down his student loans so we were saving for the house and paying down the student loans at the same time but now we are kind of i guess you could say we are flip-flopping and that is primarily because um the car situation we are down to one car and um we have been carpooling <laughs> so far and that's kind of been working out but we are i'll share with you guys what our plan is as we move through this yeah be an extra as we move through this 
relating to the car and why we're doing what we're doing. So let's go ahead and get back to calculating income. So I'm gonna calculate what is in our main checking account. And then I'm going to add in what is in our other account. And then I'm going to add in the Etsy payday, which is on its way and will be here today. And then share a sale income and then Amazon income. And I'm gonna do that over so I can make sure I have the correct amount. I'm like way out of frame. Um, plus, I will not include my husband's income right now and I'll share with you why so basically by the end of um, today or within the next couple of days we will have a total of four thousand four hundred thirty four dollars for disposable income so if we have money coming in from Etsy on this day then that is more money that we get to do stuff with. Or even if we have any other miscellaneous income, like if somebody books a coaching session with me or we sell something, that kind of thing, that is also money that comes in that we get to choose to do. And we get to choose what we wanna do with it, but we're just going off of what we know will come in. So that's pretty much all of the income that I am going to bring in, that I know that I will bring in from now until the end of the month. And August is a three paycheck month for both of us so that is going to help out a lot with basically topping off our house savings and meeting our goal so next let's go ahead and move on to expenses so the first one that we have coming up is going to be my student loan payment so we do Shay student loan and then we do mark student loan again those were due on the 21st but that was a Sunday so that's not a thing and then we have cell phone then we have credit card And then we have life insurances. And those are the bills. And then for expenses, let me look and see what we have coming up. We just grocery shopped for what should be the remainder of the month. And then let's see. Rent and water is paid, cable, internet paid, electricity paid, phone is there. I'm just going down, I'm, I'm just basically going through our monthly budget. I'm just doing it in the electronic form, which is on every dollar to see what all we have left to buy. I'm not spending anything from my allowance. My husband does have allowance money remaining and to be honest, I fully intend for him to spend the rest of that and that is about $30 actually let me go ahead and fill this in I'm gonna do not um, I'm not gonna do decimals and cents and change and all of that just for easiness of this so for credit card I'm gonna do 650 cell phone is 87 my student loan is 220 rounds up to 222 and then my husband's i just looked at that i try to look at this and try to figure it out but it's kind of confusing okay so let me go back in here in every dollar and see um we do still have 44.80 left for beauty let's see if i'm going to actually get my nails or eyebrows done between now it is not likely that I will get them done before. No, because I just went on the 19th, I think, just the other day to get them filled in. So it is not likely that I'll go. So we'll probably not use any more from the beauty category. We're already over on donations and gifts and we have not purchased a gift in like two weeks. So 
I don't see us purchasing any more for that. Or if we do do any more giving, like, from this category, it's just, like, random giving, like, rounding up the cents at Panera Bread or donating $2 at, when we're at Dollar General because they're taking up money for something. It'll be, like, pretty small. We don't have anything major. Although, um, I am going to buy my goddaughter. She's not here yet. <laughs> She'll be here in October. I am going to buy her a stroller, I think, in car seat set, perhaps. But she's not going to be here until October. So, I really don't have to worry about it until... I'll probably worry about it um, closer to see, like, what all other family members and stuff end up getting her. Um, toiletries. We don't need any more of those. I do have a little bit for miscellaneous, but... A little bit left over but I mean the goal is to not spend that um, travel we're finished with traveling for the month business I have everything that I need I believe to get through the release if not I have $26 left so let's see am I gonna end up spending that between now and the end of the month I don't think so our gym fees have already come out gas that's an expense so I will probably fill up one more time for gas which has been costing like $25 which is annoying that's so funny look <laughs> it was $25.86 one day and then $25.87 the next day only being having one car does make our gas bill a little bit higher by basically I have to fill up a day earlier than what I normally do or two days earlier but all in all it's been quite cheap <laughs> for us to be sharing a car because we don't really go anywhere now that we just share a car um life insurance i have that coming out here food again we did go grocery shopping um just yesterday to get food for the rest of the month that was our goal and then i have our student loan payments coming out here and then that is pretty much it for the like bills and expenses that we know of so let's go ahead and calculate that up so we have and i'm going to I'm just going to subtract them. Now I'm going to tally them up. Tally this up and then we'll subtract it. So 222 plus 73 plus 87. Pause on 87. Pause on cell phone. I've been um, reading a lot about finances and things of the sort and um, just reading about how much time one should be spending with their finances each month I mean each week and honestly I can say that I mean it varies which will I think I'm gonna do a video to talk about like my what I feel is accurate in that and how much time people should be realistically spending with their finances but I will just say I'm just wanting to say that I really feel like life is just goes by so much smoother when I'm not worried about like is this bill gonna come out do we have enough money to pay for it do I have enough money in this account because I'm spending that time with our finances so I don't know I think um it's something that I definitely want to explore further but um I don't know I feel like we may be needing to spend just a little bit more time with our finances so I don't think because I'm doing now probably 30 minutes or so each and like every other week I'm thinking I may need to be spending a little bit more time so I may need to incorporate another week I don't know anyway that was a random note but back to this um 650 for the credit card oh let's see I subtracted when I'm supposed to be adding 222 plus 73 plus 87 plus 650 for the credit card plus 42 plus 30 plus 25 and that equals that total is oops that total is 1129 so if we subtract 434 4, 4, 3, 4 minus one one two nine we get a remaining balance of three three oh five so that's pretty good and let me see what that's gonna do for us so let's see 
I take what's in hubby's savings account and I add his next paycheck. It's not his savings account, it's our savings account. It just happens to be in his name, which we need to, so we have a joint savings accounts. We have two of them and we have one account that is not a joint savings account and it's technically a checking account. And so since we save all of his checks, then obviously the income has to be, it has to go into a checking account. So we have it going into a checking account and we're calling that our savings account. But um, it's really not a savings account, it's really a checking account. And the reason why we keep it like that is because we keep it in that particular account because whenever it's time to pay our car insurance, we can just use the card attached to it. Or whenever it's time to make this down payment or whatever the case is. So we really should move it to a different account, um, maybe move it to our savings account. but. Moving money like that is just kind of annoying, so we just keep it there. I mean, it could be earning like a little bit of interest, and it's probably worth doing, but anyway, that's the whole story about that. So, um, I need to stop doing that. So let me see, hold on. If I take what's in there, and I add to it, and then I add, So we will be, hold on, what's in that, let me see what's in that account, plus, uh... okay, yeah, so we were still be, we would still be on track, so if we can save about $3,300, I'm looking to save a little more, but I mean, this is pretty much what we're working with right now. So unless I earn some more money, then this is pretty much what we're working with. And I was thinking, um, thinking about how much money we would have saved towards the house. That's what I was trying to add up. So anyway, I think that this is a little less than what I thought it would be, <laughs> but it still appears that we are on track to have the house savings within the next couple of months probably by the end of next month end of august or the top of september and then our goal is to at that point kind of finish paying off my husband's student loans because we have moved up the date by really a month or so our closing date to we've moved it up about a month or so that means that we had to make an executive decision about whether we would keep attacking student loans like because we were doing them simultaneously, we had to make a decision about if we wanted to continue to do that or if we wanted to go ahead and get the house savings out of the way and just do that whole situation so we don't have to, We do, so there doesn't come a time where we should have maybe not made an additional debt payment because we maybe needed a little extra because we decided to put a little bit more down on the house or the closing costs were a little bit higher. So I'm gonna make a video about all of that because I know that probably didn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to do a paycheck to paycheck budget check-in for my second paycheck technically is what this is. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.